Yeah, I wanted to talk to everyone today about the different uh, things that I personally carry concealed on the truck. I do not carry all of these weapons at all of the time. It's just a few different ones that I have around the house and some that I don't uh, that, I, that I don't bring on the truck because of, of uh, one reason or another. But during the summer, I'm always in gym clothes. All these weapons have been checked. They are empty. Okay, so I wear gym clothes a lot. I'm in the gym. I do a lot of different exercises. I do some a lot of walking. Sometimes I do some running. But I find that the 380 works very well for this. Okay, I personally use the the LCP. It's very light. The polymer frame is just very good for for this. Perfect. It, people will tell you, oh, it will stop the power. Somebody shooting at you, you're gonna know it. Okay, but 380 is not my favorite caliber though. Okay, I believe that on the truck, it's better to have a pistol car, a, a pistol cartridge, so some type of carbine. Now, I know you're gonna laugh, but actually, the R, the the SR22 is a very wonderful 22. You can use it on a truck and you are safe. People are going to run. I've been shot at with a 22. Trust me. You will run. And if they hit you, you will probably die. Okay. Now, we get to the knives. I like the I like the Glock 26. I don't have the Glock 26, but I do have a Taurus PT709 Slim, which I've always thought wonderful weapon it's very light but it's just a little too heavy for my sweat uh, you know sweats and stuff like that but the rest of the year I do wear it the the Ruger doesn't have a safety I like that everything else has a safety that I do not use okay when I talk about having something chambered in a pistol caliber I'm talking about This Keltec, it's 16 inches long. It fits in a backpack. It breaks down. It will take Glock 17 or 19 mags. The you can put much better four ends on them and much better sights. The ones that come with it are just total crap. But the weapon is very much worth having in your in your arsenal. It does not lock back on the last. Uh, round, so you have we'll have to cock it with the charging handle, but it does fold up very neatly, as you can see. If you have to clear a building, if the world is crazy, you want something small, all right, something that will pocket up in here and that you have sucked to you with a sling. You're not going to lose it if someone grabs it. Pistols are great, but most people just know what they see on television so they're, they've got it stuck out in front of them and such and that, that's not the true way if you're clearing a building you suck it up into you but it can still fall or get, get dropped or taken away so you don't want that problem go with the carbine um, the PLR by Caltech PLR 16 is another great weapon but if you're gonna carry that in your truck then well, if you SBR it, you're going to have to buy the tax stamp. No big deal. You can do that. But um, but it works great with the sling. You've got to run good ammo through it. But then you're going to want, if you're going to have another pistol also, because that's considered a pistol, then you're going to have to have something chambered in 5.56, which is fine if you want to spend that kind of money for your everyday shooting. If you have weapons, you need to shoot them regularly and be proficient with them. I mean in the dark proficient. You should be able to take them apart and put them together in the dark just like the military taught everyone. And um, you also should be able to draw and reholster just constantly. You know, it, it shouldn't, you shouldn't be sitting there at turkey dinner drawing and holstering, but you need to do these things regularly to um, be proficient. But there's, but anything on your truck besides actual firearms is still going to be considered a weapon if you get in any kind of trouble. You know, if you read the, the manuals now and you got a hammer in your truck and somebody 
jumps on you and you use it to defend yourself, they're going to call that a concealed dairy cat weapon. It will be a justified kill. But you should know. So there are other things, you know. You could you could get a machete. It will work, you know. Everyone should have knives. Knives are always important. And you should have them everywhere. You might want to cut cheesecake. Or maybe one day you'll have to cut somebody for their cheesecake. So be ready. Always have what it takes. Next week we're going to talk about survival food on a truck. That's long-term backpack storage food, MREs and such, that can just lay up under your bunk in a backpack with some camping gear and you're always ready for any scenario. You know, hard times, whatever. And then we're going to talk about some short-term stuff also that you can, you know, cook on the road, on the side of the road, in a ditch. Maybe we'll make some manifold squirrel. Yes, I said manifold squirrel. We'll talk about that later. Thanks a lot.